What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for the older guys. So today, uh, one of my friends suggested to me to make a video on my rehab journey. Because today, I was actually cleared by my, my sports physio uh, for my knee. I was cleared to go back to uh, competition and uh, I was really happy about that. I, I actually took a picture with her. I posted it on Instagram, on Facebook. And so one of my friends said, hey, why don't you make a video and talk about your, uh, your journey, you know, from, um, from injury, rehab, and uh, till, uh, to this day, to this point. And uh, what the injury was, was a partial tear, uh, ACL, ACL partial tear, okay? So for those of you who don't know, um, when uh, when you injure a, a ligament okay like like the ligaments they never they never heal okay what you have to do instead is that you have to um, do a lot of physio uh, sometimes you need surgery but in my case I didn't need surgery but uh, you have to do a lot of physio and then you have to uh, get all the muscles surrounding it okay to to become really strong and at the same so, so that it could stabilize the knee because now you're counting more on your muscles to stabilize your knee and not your actual ligament. Because your ligament is, well, if it's, if it's torn, you have to have surgery. Uh, if it's uh, partially torn, then, well, it's never going to be the same. Okay? So what happened was in March of uh, this year, approximately, I hurt myself um, in, while I was uh, doing sparring in judo. And then from there... I took two free, two free weeks off. I didn't do anything. Well, I actually went to training, but I didn't do any, uh, any sparring at all. And then when I tried to start back again, I wasn't feeling it. I knew something was off. So I said, fuck it, I'll do the right thing. And what I did is I, I, took, I got an appointment with my family doctor, went to see her. She checked it out. And then she told me, listen, um, I'm sure it's a partial tear, but I'm a little bit worried because you said you heard a pop, and I did hear a pop. And uh, ligaments, that's what, uh, you hear pops, man. When, that, when you hear a pop, it's a fucking ligament, most likely, okay? And um, so she sent, me, she sent me to do a x-ray and MRI. So I, I went out, I did the x-ray, uh, that was quick, and then I had to uh, wait for my appointment for, for the MRI. That took a little while, a couple of weeks, Finally, I got it. I went. I did it. Okay, the results were sent back to my uh, to my family doctor. I had to take an appointment. Go back to see her. She said, "Okay, well, I look at I, I'm looking at the um, the MRI results, and this. So now we have to consult with the ortho ortho um, uh, ortho uh, orthopedic uh, surgeon doctor, right?" So then I told her, and, and this orthopedic doctor will be able to tell me if I need surgery or not. <laughs> so then me, what I did is that I told her, hey, listen, um, I actually have a file. Uh, you know, my file is already open and everything um, at McGill Sports Medicine because these guys are specialized in, in sports injury, right? <clears throat> and rehab. So I said, I think uh, one, of those, one of those, the doctors there, they're, they're, uh, they're ortho, uh, ortho doc orthopedic, sorry, I don't know why I can't get the fucking word, orthopedic doctors. So she's like, okay, I'll write you some prescriptions and uh, you can go see them, no problem, you know. So I went to see them and I saw my, I saw a sports doctor, not my usual one, he was on vacation, so I actually got another one. Doesn't matter, sports doctors, I mean, at McGill, they're top notch. McGill, uh, here up in, uh, in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So I saw my sports medicine doctor and, um, she told me, well, listen, uh, we're not orthopedic doctors, but we are sports medicine doctors, and we're, we're just as qualified to tell you if you need surgery or not. I said, perfect, so I won't waste my time going to see the orthopedic um, uh, surgeon, right, doctor. So she told me, okay, what we got to do is we, gotta, we don't need surgery. That's the good news. Now... The other good news is that there's people who have no ACL and who can still continue doing their sport, okay? You have an ACL. All you have is a partial tear on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this leg 
so fucking strong, so fucking strong that you'll be able to do all your shit on it, okay? And you won't feel a thing. I said, okay, gotcha. So she said, go do some physio, okay? And um, that's what I did. I took an appointment there because they have uh, their physios and I stayed with those physios because they're sports, uh, med uh, sports medicine uh, physios, okay? They're not just your regular physio. So that's what I did. I got an appointment, I did an evaluation, met my sports physio, and then from there it took me, um, we started off with, with, uh, with some exercises, okay? And the exercises we started with were really to teach me how to activate my glutes, okay? So we worked a lot on, on, uh, on the glutes, and also on motor control and balance. That was the main thing. So we had to make it so that I always hinge at the hips, that I, I move correctly, okay? That when I move, I really uh, move in a, in, in a way that's, that, that gives me a mechanical advantage where my quads, my glutes, my calves, and my, my core, okay? Is, uh, is firing all at the same time to stabilize my knee. So that's what we did. And then, um, then I went back and saw her. So she saw how I was doing. She gave me some, uh, some harder exercise. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna, we're gonna increase the difficulty a little bit. So we increased, everything went fine. I did all my exercise and I was doing my exercises. Uh, the goal was five days a week, okay? But if I could go six or seven, fuck, go for it. But she would recommend, listen, go six, give yourself at least a day off. So the goal was five days, but I could go six days. So I, I went all five, six days uh, for my exercises because I, I took it seriously. And during that time, I did go um, to, to judo, uh, except that when I would go to judo, I would, um, I would just do technique and that's it. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't spar at all. Okay, so I still showed up. I just didn't spar. So anyhow, um, so that was, uh, so the second time she increased the difficulty on the exercise. The third time she switched it up. Now we started going into more um, dynamic exercises where I had to fucking jump, you know? Jump, uh, jump up in height, jump forward, okay, and lateral to the side. So, and of course, uh, you know, a lot of uh, core and, and, and stabilization work and all kinds of stuff, you know, really. And it was really cool because it made me realize that, uh, you know, like for your legs to be very uh, efficient and, and to perform at, at, the, at the highest level that it can, okay, you, it's not just about how strong, how much you squat, or how much you can leg press, okay? And or, or how big your leg actually is. It has to do with muscle activation, motor control, balance, um, agility, proprioception, and all kinds of, of, of stuff that I didn't realize, uh, I didn't think made, you know, much of a difference. And, you know, uh, most people don't know, but going through this experience, I realized, wow, this is what's really important, you know? So, and then of course we got until today, we, then we got into like the last set of exercises, which was, it got really fucking hard at the end. And uh, I wasn't able to, uh, to, how do you say it, to, to, to complete it, to do it the way that I should have done it. And I explained that to my physio today and she told me, well, that's, that's normal. I mean, that means, that's a good thing, you know? It means that these exercises are, are hard and, and, you know, like, but, well, these exercises are, are hard and at one point, like, it, it gets really hard and that's normal. But with all the testing that she did today um, on, like, she measured me the first time we, the first evaluation we had. So she measured, like, how far, how far I could jump, uh, forward, sideways, uh, all kinds of stuff, you know? And like my results now were, were really good. So, and of course, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. For the past three, four weeks, that was when the last time I saw her, 
that's when we decided, okay, now we've done a lot of uh, exercises, your knee is going good, so what we're gonna do is that you're gonna start doing sparring, okay? So we started, I started very light, and then I, the more, the more I, I felt comfortable and confident about my knee, the more I started increasing the intensity until I get to 100%. And the idea was to get to 100% um, uh, hundred percent intensity in sparring for as many as many fights as possible as many uh, sparring sessions as possible to really test the knee to see if there was anything wrong with it so I did that for about three four weeks it was great and I, came, I went to see her today and there was a couple of uh, a couple of things that I was worried about so I I, I I mentioned it to her, I made a list, I said, listen, this is what happened, I felt this, I felt that when I did this, yada, yada, yada. And then she, she covered every single point and told me, okay, well, this is not a problem because blah, 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 blah. This is not a problem because blah, 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 blah. And then, okay, this, I would have been worried if, but, you know, since it's like this, blah, 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 blah. All in all, all that to say that I'm good to go. And I'm confident and I was already confident before, but I had a little, uh, a little uncertainty, you know, like if my knee was really ready or if it was still, uh, if I still needed to do more work with her. But uh, she, she told me, no, Hong, you're good to go, man. Like, um, come back if you, if you, you know, if need be. But really, you're, you're good. You're good. And um, I just had to continue. Uh, mixing and matching my exercises, okay, at least three times a week. So three times a week would be maintenance, okay, for everything that I develop up until now. But if I go, if I do more than three times a week, which is uh, what I intend to do, then we're going into getting better and getting stronger, getting more, more balance, more agility, more this, more that. So I'm really excited about this now that I'm cleared 100%. Uh, I'm ready to go and fuck it, let's rock and roll. And uh, what's fun about uh, going through this whole um, uh, th this whole incident here, this whole injury and the rehab and, and all the, the physio and everything is that I've come to realize how important um, stability, balance, proprioception, um, what else you got here? Um, motor control all these things are so important much more than people realize especially if you want to be functional uh, if you want to be uh, functional t in everyday life or if you want to be functional uh, in martial arts or even in in different sports i mean let's just face it your legs is your base it carries you now if you don't have a strong base and strong isn't just about how much you can squat or, or, or leg press, okay? So, yeah, man. So, so I, I'm glad I went through this. And now I'm back. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about it, guys. So I'm, I'm happy to my, to my buddy, Francois, to, uh, to have suggested to, uh, about making this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. And, um like comment subscribe follow me on instagram at uh, og fitness 1979 and i'll see you guys in the next video peace